their fellow redeemed and their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Greetings on this beautiful day which the Lord has made. Our devotion for today, Wednesday, January 20th, comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1, and the theme for today is the pattern of sound words. St. Paul writes, Follow the pattern of sound words that you have heard from me in the, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Here, St. Paul is encouraging Timothy to remain steadfast in the truth so that he would live out and teach what he has received from Paul. Paul lived out the life of faith in his preaching, in his good works, and in his suffering for the faith. And now Paul is encouraging Timothy to continue in what he has received, in the truth of the gospel as he had learned it from Paul, who learned it from the apostles and from Jesus Christ. What we notice here is Paul refers to the pattern of sound words. The word that is translated as sound can also mean healthy. In other words, these words give life. And when we abide in the truth of the scriptures, our spiritual lives are kept healthy and are nourished on the good news of the gospel. The other thing that we see here is that the pattern of sound words are maintained through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. When we are baptized, we receive the Holy Spirit. And the Saint John writes, the Holy Spirit comes to us to lead us into all truth and to testify to our Lord Jesus Christ. And so St. Timothy, the church, and all faithful pastors are called to carefully guard the truth of the gospel as we have received it in the word of God and from the apostles. And so let us pray to our Lord who gives us the pattern of sound words. O Lord, you have called us into the fellowship and priesthood of your son, Jesus Christ. By his incarnation and great work of salvation, heaven is opened to us. Give us boldness to cling to your faithful call that your deliverance would not be hidden, but spoken freely in all the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as every lawful authority on earth comes from you, uphold in righteousness and health our nation with its leaders. Preserve in wisdom and honor Joseph, our president-elect, Kamala, our vice president-elect, our governor and all public servants, including our armed forces, police, and first responders, send peace in our time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, you have given us your Holy Spirit, making our bodies your temple and knitting us together in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give us courage and constancy to treasure your gift of holy marriage. Preserve your Christians in true chastity, the married and honorable faithfulness to one another, and the unmarried and honorable purity. For you have bought us with the precious price of your Son's blood to glorify you and our bodies. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness. And for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us go in our Lord's peace and joy. Amen.